We're never going to stop. As long as we have investigative avenues to go down, we're never going to stop. Suffolk DA Ray Tierney talking about the future of the investigation now that Rex Hewerman has been charged with murder in connection to the deaths of two more women, Sandra Castilla and Jessica Taylor, in addition to the Gilgo Four. When you look at all of the, the six victims, uh, so many similarities, uh, young women, uh, you know, who were at a tough point in their life and, and were really um, exploited. Tierney not sharing many details about Castilla, but we have learned she was involved in sex work, something all of the other victims also had ties to. There was certainly anecdotal evidence that uh, that that was uh, what she was engaged in. Tierney saying the alleged planning document has been one of the major breaks in the case, saying it helped prompt a second search of Hewerman's home and their focus on the basement. One of the sections they talk about hanging tarps and plastic uh, and don't use uh, tape, uh, use push pins. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to, to see if we could find areas where we have adhesive tape or evidence of adhesive tape or evidence of where, where pins are being used. Uh, we think we've, we've, we've found some of those locations. Hewerman has now been named as a suspect in the Valerie Mack case. His alleged planning document mentions Mill Road, where her body and Jessica Taylor's partial remains were discovered in Manorville. Tierney saying the investigation expands beyond Gilgo. We were going to turn our attention not only to the rest of the bodies on the beach, uh, but also off uh, in, in Suffolk County.